Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're doing a special video. We're actually not in Los Angeles anymore. We're in Belgium. So we're in Brussels, Belgium, in Europe, and we're in my old neighborhood. Let's see if we can uh, actually recenter it so that we can show a little bit of the neighborhood. So this is how Belgium looks. As you can tell, it's uh, about 9.30 a.m. in the morning and uh, the sun barely comes out um, at all in winter and it's uh, dark till maybe 8.45 a.m. in the morning and then it uh, gets dark again at 4.45. So we have about eight hours of light in, uh, in Brussels uh, and uh, most of uh, the northern western Europe and uh, as you can tell it's kind of raining and it's uh, creating little splotches on the screen. Let's see if we can clean that a little bit. But yeah, um, this is uh, Brussels. So um, this is where I grew up. And as you can tell, it's a pretty uh, quaint little area, very quiet. Um, we don't have a lot of excitement here especially uh, it being Christmas and stuff like that. But I thought it'd be cool for you guys to kind of see a little bit of what's happening here. Um, very quiet place. Um, uh, let's see if I can recenter it again. So up ahead, uh, we can kind of see my old uh, middle school and high school. It, um, yeah, I was there for about six years of my life, and uh, it was a pretty cool experience, I guess. Um, people say that some people peak when they're uh, at 18 because they have that great, glamorous uh, high school life, but hopefully I'm not one of those. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys can really see. The buildings kind of look very similar. Uh, usually when Americans see Europe, they instantly think, uh, oh, this looks like a miniature place. And uh, yeah, I apologize, it's gonna, probably going to be a couple of drops of rain on the actual camera lens, but that's because it's raining, you know, so we can't do much about that. Let me see if I can clean it a little bit. Here we go. Nice and clean. So yeah, this is my high school. Um, this was the gymnasium in my old days and uh, we used to just hang out right here and uh, then if we come up a little bit more ahead we actually see um, the entrance the main entrance of course it's closed right now and a pretty cool story about this uh, high school is that once I graduated, basically, I uh, went back to my high school about maybe two or th about two years later, and uh, my headmaster at the time was uh, really into uh, films, and uh, he uh, actually let me and a bunch of other friends uh, shoot some movies uh, at the actual location. Uh, of the of the high school they basically gave me uh, access to the whole high school and uh, let me film for like three days and then another two days on a couple other uh, occasions which was kind of crazy because leaving a bunch of 20 year old kids run the high school and stuff like that is pretty amazing but yeah they let me do it and it was pretty fun since it's raining a little more I'm gonna get the little umbrella out so we can be a little bit more covered since obviously there's gonna be a bunch of raindrops and stuff and we don't want the equipment to completely break hopefully but yeah let's uh, go again recenter this uh, here we go and yeah you can get a view of beautiful, beautiful Belgium, or should we say rainy Belgium? I think that's the 
the biggest complaint that people have growing up here is that um, it's gray. The sky is really, really low. And uh, we get about three seasons in one day, which is kind of crazy. Um, so we can have the sun um, for a few hours, then all of a sudden it's going to be uh, raining like this. And then there is a lot of wind. And uh, yeah, so you get fall, winter, and summer. Uh, in one day sometimes and then you get very very short days which is not that cool and uh, yeah as you can tell too because it's Christmas everything closes so you can kind of tell that um, basically we're in a smaller country because uh, anywhere that has uh, more population basically doesn't let uh, you take so many vacations but also the fact is that Europe is very family oriented and uh, they love 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 um, spending time with their family which is important and especially during uh, Christmas time and stuff like that and uh, this year I'm pretty lucky because there isn't too much um, cold weather in a way we're probably in the mid 50s high 50s which is pretty good for winter and uh, it can get really bad you know because uh, a little bit more north so it can also snow and then uh, we're at this point in Brussels where it doesn't really snow snow it snows but then it melts and then it makes everything worse which basically everything becomes icy which is kind of horrible and um, yeah that's not that good so yeah it's kind of horrible because then the cars will slide you will slide everybody slides and uh, yeah, but this is where I grew up and it's, uh, it was fun growing up here. The thing is that everybody kind of knows each other and everybody lives next to each other, which is kind of nice. So you're never really alone. Whenever you uh, have free time, you just knock at someone's door or they knock at yours. And then, uh, yeah, you always have someone to play video games with or go out and play and uh, and yeah, this is uh, kind of Brussels. I'm probably going to be making a bunch more videos uh, based on Brussels, obviously. Um, since I'm going to be here for a couple of weeks. And uh, we'll do our best. The thing is uh, finding balance between the weather, using the camera, not breaking it. And uh, it's very, very windy too. But I think uh, the mic will actually pick up most of the stuff see if I can go back to selfie mode and uh, here we go fortunately this is not the same light as we have in Los Angeles so everything can get kind of dark and uh, we do our best you know but that's all I have to say for today have a great day and uh, let's talk soon okay